things are getting a little out of hand here in the vintage toy freedom master bedroom i guess you would call it um uh, today i'm gonna open the zoids figure but um things are just getting out of hand we have things like carzilla and their sequest there's some wwf stuff in the back i see fun school gi joe wildcats some batman x-men uh star wars bendies titan ae there's some jackie chan sequest stone protectors demolition man godzilla uh skeleton warriors casper uh, a whole bag full of things there there's some you've seen me open a lot of these things over here uh, just getting a lot of hands so i'm trying to make some make some more room and uh, open some toys and hopefully you can enjoy this with me uh so this is the zoids liger zero from hasbro came out in 2002 um zoids is not something i'm at all familiar with i didn't really know it existed until maybe a few months ago um but originally it was released by tomi in japan and i guess like throughout europe because if you if you see the J japanese european ones they're always a different color and they're older like kind of 80s like mid to early 80s um and they were kind of like I guess pieces kind of uh, they so they have these smaller ones there's a larger motorized ones and then there are also ones that are more like a um like a model kit like an airplane model or something like that that you kind of kind of build together so I don't I don't know a whole lot about them um but they made technozoids they made um uh there's another line called uh, uh it was like star something I don't know but it's Tomy and different people licensed them uh, Kenner made the Technozoids in the, in the mid '90s, around '95. Um, so just kind of, kind of all over the place. But uh, so I guess at this point, Hasbro had the license. They re-released them. I don't remember seeing these on the shelves at all. I don't, I don't think they like did really well. I'm not really sure. But one thing to note: look how small that guy is. I mean, he's tiny. So I want to uh, see if I can. Uh, what, what can I show you for scale? I have a penny right here. Here's a penny, and here's that fella. So he's about as tall as a penny. I mean, really small. So you can imagine how many vacuums suck these up, or they fell down, a, you know, your vent in your room, um, or dog chewed, or just, you know, who knows where they ended up. So to find these ones complete with a little driver is a challenge. Now, the old ones, the old Zoids, they all have these, um, like, flip up sort of cockpit canopy. I want to be careful because I don't know. The older ones can... Well, certain ones can break. I don't know. I guess it depends on how well they're made. Obviously, a model is going to be more fragile than this. This is pretty hard plastic, but I sometimes these things break because they're sitting in a box for, I guess in this case, like 17 years. Um, so his, so his head flips open. That's where the guy sits. That's the cockpit for this. Let's see. So it's got some jaw articulation. The jaw looks kind of cockeyed. I don't know if that's wrong or not. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you've definitely seen, there's been a few that have, uh, broken after opening that G2 transformer broke. Um, some of the McFarland stuff has broken. Oh, okay. So he's got an action. He, he does that. He scratches you because he's a liger. Um, so let's see here. He has a... Technically, it's called a striker claw. So here's this. This is a uh, tail kind of gun thing that sticks in here. So I guess they, they give you a few little things to sort of put together. Oh, there's another open the ion booster. So there's a little bit of I don't know, a little bit of sort of I don't know, what am I trying to say? Playability? I don't know. But you know you know what I'm talking about. There, there are a few features. I really don't want to break this. So I'm not going to force it in there too hard, but there we go. Okay, so that's his tail. It's a gun. I guess I think it's supposed to pivot, but it's not really pivoting. Uh, let's see here. So we have a missile launching cannon. 
There's a missile for that. Okay. So that works. And that goes right here. So a lot of the Zoids, especially the bigger ones, kind of the 80s ones, or even the, the re-releases uh, from here, there are lots of like little things that pop off guns, and um, there's like a, uh, it's kind of like a Tyrannosaurus or dinosaur, and has like little spikes and stuff like that, so lots of little pieces like that. This one, obviously, not as much, but let's get this little guy out of here. His name is Bitcloud. He rides inside, and he's just like taped in this. It's just kind of taped in there. I'm gonna peel that tape off. Um, so you see, there's some other ones back here. The gun sniper in the middle, uh, Rhinos. So they're generally all kind of some sort of animals. But I think kind of the tigers and the wolves, the wolf you see a lot. I've actually, um, there's like a blue wolf. So this guy again is just, I mean, absolutely tiny. He is not articulated. I think I forgot to mention the, the older ones, the 80s ones, the drivers were these little silver guys about about this size, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, but they were just monochromatic, like chrome pilots. So if you ever find those, sometimes you, you see those. Those are Zoids pilots. So this dude, he's got like a square peg for his feet. Cause I don't know if it's supposed to like fit inside of there. All right, so he's in there. I really don't want to take him out because I'm afraid he might get might get lost. Here we have an instruction book. I probably should open this first. Liger Zero with Hell de Gunner Cannon. I don't know what that means. Uh, so you symbol the tail. We got that figured out. Customized for battle. I guess I'm supposed to take those things off. Insert projectile, press the launch, press button for striker action, press to open the ion boosters. Um, yeah, so thanks for the instructions, Hasbro. I, I think we were able to, to, to figure this out. But yeah, you see here, 1983, 2001 Tomy. So obviously Hasbro was the ones that, that licensed this. So I guess this actually... Whoops. These ion boosters come off, and then this, this cannon can fit right there too. It fits there a lot better. I guess that way the ion boosters are kind of out of the way if you're not needing to boost your ions maybe. I don't know. Can that fit here? Yeah, the peg's too big. So there's that ion boosters up. The striker claw action. And we have the missile launching cannon, which is called a Hell de Gunner can I don't know. That seems a bit ridiculous to me. So there he is. I think this is pretty cool. You know, I, I don't like I said, I don't know a whole lot about these. I'm not uh certainly not a Zoys expert. I've been learning a lot about them lately, the past you know, a few weeks, past month or two. And, um, you know, not really my bag. I'm not really into, like, the robots and stuff. I was never really into, like, Gundam or even really not a big Transformers fan. Um, but this is pretty cool. I, I think this is a solid toy. And, you know, you got the little little dude in there he's, who's freaking tiny. I can't express that enough. Um, and, yeah, you got some little action features and guns and ion boosters and all kinds of stuff. So kind of cool. I can see how people, people dig this. But, um... You know, if you're a fan, I know a little bit more about this. You've seen this, you know, open that these are getting kind of, you know, not totally vintage, but I mean, 17 years, that's, that's quite a while ago. So, um, I picked this up at Queen City Comics in Cincinnati, Ohio, the, the Pleasant Ridge neighborhood, and I was happy to, to buy it and open it for this YouTube and add it to my collection. So, uh, so thanks for watching and, um, hopefully you enjoyed this. And if you're a Zoids fan or a Zoids collector, hopefully those little... Dudes didn't up, end up down in your uh, 
the register vents in your in your bedroom. 